So, <clears throat> got another little project uh, going to do here, mostly on rainy days, I think. But uh, my neighbor, who happens to be my aunt, um, she has this uh, electric golf cart, as you can see here behind me. And uh, <clears throat> anyways, the uh, she's had it for quite a long time, but the uh, <clears throat> the batteries have finally gotten to a point where they won't accept a charge anymore. And we were looking around for a, um, a better way to save costs. And initially, she wanted me to uh, think about maybe putting a gas engine in it, which can be done. Um, but <clears throat> uh, after doing a little uh, research, and uh, I know there's some fellows out there on YouTube that have already done this, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to remove the six 6-volt six batteries that <clears throat> are make up the 36-volt system. I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to remove those and I'm going to mount three of the biggest 12 volt deep cycle batteries that I can get, most likely at Walmart. Uh, I know I'm going to have to, uh, you know, build a structure in there to, to hold them in place because of their different size and, and location and whatnot. But um, anyways, that's what I got going on here. So uh, I'm going to uh, get these batteries yanked out for right now and. Uh, Hopefully uh, this coming week I'll uh, I'll get the new batteries and uh, I'll uh, I'll bring you along on how this is gonna <clears throat> how this is gonna go. Like I say, I mean I know I know there's some people out there that have already done it and uh, they don't seem to have any issues with it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just a dirty shame. Those batteries right there are roughly around $150 a piece. So yeah, you do the math times six, and uh, it's just absolutely ridiculous. So. I'm thinking that even if you only get you know a third of the life uh, out of the out of the deep cycles that you did from this this battery uh, arrangement, that you're looking at less than ninety dollars a battery times three. So you could afford to change those batteries out, you know, if you needed to, like every three years, and be so far ahead of the game it wouldn't be funny. So, anyways, that's what's going on, and. Um, I'll uh, probably bring you a little shot once I get the batteries all out. All right. All right, just a little update here on the, <clears throat> the golf cart I'm working on for my aunt. Um, trying to remember where I was at uh, when I ended the last little clip, but anyways, I've got the uh, got the batteries all out of it, and uh, <clears throat> I was pleasantly surprised to see that this cart unlike mine is uh, all aluminum mine's a uh, steel frame in construction but <clears throat> here's the three new uh, deep cycle batteries uh, group 27 and <clears throat> I, I was uh, originally going to go with uh, bigger ones um, I started out at Walmart and I had a group 29 uh, which is what I wanted to use. Uh, they only had one of them at our local Walmart, so I thought, well, I'll buy that. And uh, certainly, you know, some of the other Walmarts in the area, I can pick two more up and have three of them. So <clears throat> I got home and I started checking, and basically every Walmart within a hundred mile radius of where I live uh, were completely sold out of these. They they didn't have any. So. <clears throat> turns out that our local hardware or uh, auto parts store just up the road um, who was going to take all these uh, old 6 volt batteries from me that I took out of this um, they ended up having deep cycle batteries there and yeah I paid a little bit more for them but um, at least I was able to get three uh, all the same and um, so it is what it is that's you know how it went so anyways um, today I'm just going to try and work on reconfiguring the uh, <clears throat> the the framework in here to adapt to these different shaped batteries. Um, <clears throat> originally the four, there was four six volts here, one six volt over there, and one over here. So I'm replacing these six six volts with the three twelve volts. And <clears throat> anyway, so I'm going to do some uh, altering to come up with a way to set these all down in there nice and secure uh, clamp them in and when I get that done I'll uh, I'll bring you a shot of that so you can see how that looks 
All right, so I just wanted to uh, show you what I ended up doing here. That's uh, the three deep cycle uh, batteries that replace the six six volts in this. And um, so this has been up and running now for for a while. And uh, so far so good. Everything seems to be working uh, pretty much the way that it should. So uh, like I said, I, I know other people have done this and. Uh, and they've had pretty good luck with it, so um, ended up with about half the cost in converting this 36-volt uh, cart over from 6 six volts to 3 12-volts. So, um, anyways, I just wanted to kind of bring you the, the final look on this and so you can kind of see what I had to do. I had to move a bracket and, and do some different bracing just because of the dimensions and the size of the battery, so... Um, I guess that's another project for the books.